Hello, welcome to my channel Swiss Kitchen. I have a new video for you. Today I show you a tart, what you can make out from the tomato sauce from my last video. And today I show you how to make self-made pizza in two different ways. One time we make a thin crust pizza and one time we make a thick crust pizza. It's meaning a little more thick bottom. Let's start now. Then this is the main ingredients what we need. I have here 500 gram of white flour. I put already through a strainer. Then we need olive oil, a half cube of fresh yeast or one sachet dry yeast. Then two uh, teaspoon of salt and uh, almost three deciliter of water, a little bit less than three deciliter or 300 milliliters. That is for the pastry. Then for the thin crust, I put bell peppers, salami and ham. And for the thick pizza, we make a Hawaiian pizza with ham and pineapple. And then every time oregano on the pizza. And also a little bit from the olive oil. And then our tomato sauce from the last video. Then our yeast we put first in the water or make liquid. You saw it's directly getting liquid. When it's removed from the spoon, then we can take the rest also. So, like that. And this one we let now a little bit inside to getting liquid. A little mixing, it's going really fast. And then, while this is getting liquid, we put already the salt in the floor. How I say you, in the braided bread, don't let touch the salt, the yeast, or else it's destroying the yeast. This one we mix now first a little bit, and then we put the liquid from the yeast. Then we have our yeast water mix, I put here in the middle. Directly all. And you saw, it's nothing liquid anymore here or pieces from the yeast, I mean. And then we put directly also olive oil inside. You can put, yeah, like this. Not too less, that will become a really nice pastry. And then with the clean hands, we start to mix it now. Until we have the pastry. First is a little bit uh, a messy where but it's sticky in hands and all. But this is normal in the pastry. Just carefully mix that it's not out all the floor. And then we make a nice pastry. It's also good when the water for the yeast is a little bit warm but not hot. Then the yeast is faster activate directly. And now it's always one piece but it's sticky you saw. It's directly stuck in my hands. We take it out now and make same like in the braided bread. Put it here and then like that for five, ten minutes we must make until we have a nice consistency from the pastry and it's no more too much sticky. So after five or ten minutes, pastry looks like that. This looks better and soft and nice. Now we make a ball. Like this. Nice round ball. And then we put it back in the bowl. And on top we put a, a wet towel. Not too much wet, but a little bit. That is not getting dry. And now one or one and a half hour resting for the pastry. What I forgot to tell you before is, of course, you need also mozzarella. I take here the grounded one, gerieben in Deutsch. That this one is not so much liquid, that this what is in the salt water inside. That's why I take this. Then, meanwhile, I start to cut the vegetables. And the things what we put on the pizza. Here the pepperoni I make like that. And then just stripes like this. From both color and 
like that. Then the ham, I make in cubes like this. Also first in stripes and then in cubes, of course. Like that. Then the pineapple we cut here, down. And then like this is enough for the pizza. And here, around, we remove all the little dark and the peel. Must remove a little bit more. It's always already a little bit brown, but it doesn't matter, we still can use. Here also a little bit. And then when it's like this, we cut in half through this one and again a quarter and then you can take the single and cut this out this one is hard to eat, we cannot eat make this in all the four like this then I take and cut two times like that and then like this and then we have our nice fresh pineapple pieces. Before we start to make the pastry, we heating now the oven on 250 degrees. And then we can start to make our pizza. Then our pastry looks like this one now. You saw it's the double size from before. This is really fluffy and this is how we need. We take it out now. It's a little bit sticky, but that is normal. Take it out all here. We put together to the pastry. And then I told you in the first we make one thin crust and one thick crust. So it's meaning we need one time a smaller piece than the other. I'm thinking this one is good for the tin and this one we make first now the other we put it back then we make a little floor here I'm turning the pastry that is on both sides make it a little bit flat I'm not a pizza yolo, I cannot throw in the air but I use this one like what I become from my grandma one day Make it nice flat, every time turning a little bit, that is not stuck in the table. This one is enough like that. Try to make it a little bit round. And then we put directly on the baking sheet. And we can make the other. And the other half we make a little more thick. Put on the floor again. And then the pastry <laughs> turning a little bit in the floor. Make it also a little flat first. And then move this one. We can put now also on our 
baking sheet what I prepare already. So first I make the thin crust pizza. We put here from the tomato sauce little in the middle. And then we use the spoon directly and make like that. That we have sauce everywhere. And like in the pizza restaurant, they don't put too much sauce or else the pizza is not um, crunchy, it's getting too much liquid and then not too much out. Like this, that is everywhere nice. And the corner we left free. Then the mozzarella cheese, put it everywhere nice, that we have a bottom. It's how you like, of course, you can also put other things on your pizza. All what you like, you can put. Like this a little bit more, I like the cheese. Then we put our ham cubes, what I made. Like this. A little more. So. Then also the pepperoni. Grapes. And then the salami rings. I make now a little oval the pizza that the, is more match on the baking sheet and the paste is not too thick. Like this. Then what we need to put is a little bit of olive oil, just dripping a little bit like that. And then from the oregano, dry oregano. And like this you put now in the oven, in the 250 degrees for 10-15 minutes we must shake the pizza. And we put here in the middle of the hot oven and close it directly. So then our first pizza is finished and it looks incredible, delicious. I'm really excited to eat this. Now we can make the second one, Pizza Hawaii. For the thick crust we make same like for the other, but with the other ingredients on top. Also sauce, like three spoon or two, and then turning. A little bit more. That is everywhere, have a nice sauce. Then the mozzarella again. Pizza is every time like this. First is the tomato sauce or white sauce. You can also make white pizza. And then the cheese and then the rest of the things. Like this. Here a little bit more. Then the ham cubes. So, and then the pineapple pieces, what we cut before.
and with fresh pineapple is also totally other than this what you know when you buy the pizza there is every time the pineapple from the can inside and it's the freshest directly other taste then here we put also a little from the olive oil on top not too much and then also a little oregano that is the herb for every pizza what you become the taste for from the pizza like that and now we put this also in the oven but this one needs a little bit more because it's thick crust so and this pizza is now also finished and then of course we also need to taste them I make here a triangle cut like that and now you saw it's baking through under also and it's holding this is how a pizza must looks like and now we check the Hawaiian pizza how it looks like also here we make a cut it's a little more thick but it's crunchy the pastry this one is what what we want for the pizza like that and then when you remove you saw it's also standing and then I need to taste my pizza. The Italian make like that. They holding here. And then they make half in the middle. Like this. And then you can hold in your slice. Then we try. Mmm. Wonderful taste. With the sauce what I make in the last video is really delicious. It's matched together. I hope you enjoy my video and you try it at home let me know in the comments also if you like hawaiian pizza or if you don't like it and don't forget to thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video you